What have you seen in, in, as we both prepare throughout the week? What stands out about this rugby ATL group in your mind? For me, I think that rugby ATL is very lethal, especially on defense. Here's the mall off that line out from Nola Gold. They've got it in the back, trying to continue the push on. A couple of meters shy of the try line. They're looking to get this down and get five. They get a little bit of an opening there, and that one is down, and they put it away. So Nola Gold powers one home here in the seventh minute to take a 5 nothing lead. And what Rugby ATL is facing there, and Pat O'Toole, He's the one that got that done. Of that try and all starts from the go forward that Atlanta is able to get. It immediately puts Noah Gold on the back foot. And here we see Coleman get a little break. No one's able to bring him down cleanly. And he's able to get that offload off to Van Skulvik before. And as you see here, again, just hits the deck. Presence of mind to get that offload off. And great hands on Van Skulvik. Still active in the U.S. Navy as a corpsman. His wife is a firefighter in New Orleans. Talk about serving your country and your community, right? Wow. Power a couple there, Ben. That's pretty cool. Here's a break now, and it's Duplessis. Reed talked about those 12s in the open. They're so key in every match, and certainly Duplessis wants to get going. Nice little dish there from Stevens, and it's dotted down, and Nola, they're back on top here. It's a 10-7 match. That you can do there and Depreschmidt able to get the go forward. Look, this Nola attack runs through Duplessis. Anytime he makes a break, that's when they're on. And then it's just too easy for Depre Depreschmidt there. Atlanta's not able to react. Nola Gold has such a good attacking shape. And what I mean by that is they, you know, we talk about this 1 3 3 1 formation where you have the forwards in pods of three off of the ruck. Try saving tackle potentially there. Now they're going to work it to the near side. Inside of the five meter. Trying to burrow his way in there. The ball carry. They get it out. They go short. Like a high hit there. Is, that was Harmon that came in. He was involved there with Connor Cook. Time off. It's over here. Captain. On the ball carry. No attempt to wrap. It's a yellow card. Six goal. Third time is a charm on the line out here. And look, just getting it right without any infringements. And you see Connor Cook dot it down. <laughs> but look, this is signature Atlanta on the attack. Just such a good driving ball. They know exactly what to do. And now this one here coming in the 26th minute of the match. And Coleman sends the flags to the north. And it's good. And Cook and company lead it. 14-12 here. Damian Stevens takes a look. Now they're going to spin it out wide. Dangerous play. They get away with it. They got a chance to go in off that far side touchline, and they do. It's taken in and dotted down. They put it away, and Nola Gold is back on top here on the road. 17-12. Devin Short puts it away. Short out on the wing. Plenty of space. Still has to beat one defender, but pretty easy for him to convert. So a three-point lead. They try to make it a five-point lead, and that one is right down Peachtree Street. They'll look to get that driving mall set up. They get up high and get it. There's the mall. Trying to keep it together here. To the line. Got to get it down, though, on the ground. And there's the arm in the air and the whistle. And it is Erasmus for the second straight match. Just full team effort from the pack. Fielded cleanly and then just Atlanta doing what they do best. Here they come around and they are just all going the same direction. Nola doesn't have any answers here. You see Erasmus with the ball in hand, just patiently waiting for his forwards to keep going forward. Doing the dirty work for him until his feet are over the whitewash. Up in the air, batted around. They go to that bench again. You see off the score ball. Here comes ATL. They're powering their way ahead. Ball carrier took over and ran over Eloff there. Short kick through. It's going to go into the try zone, though. And a race for it. Did he get it? Did he get it down? I believe he did.
So we see here, kick. that kick doesn't initially go as far as you want, but tipped from Nola, and Atlanta recovers the ball. So, so Nola has to reset here. There's no one back there. Yes, go ahead. I have no evidence to overturn your on field, so stay with the try. Okay, thank you. So, that is beautiful times. stuff. That touch line from where he was last time. Can he knock this one through? Oh, yeah, that one is true. Right down Peachtree Boulevard, and it's 26 19. And Skunk Mike plays it out. Now they go out wide, go short, little play inside. And it's knocked on there. But they're going to bring it back. This Eastern Conference, New England, ATL, New York. Advantage being played. Came apart again to the line. Chandra getting in there, he's got the arm up. There's the whistle, they've got another one. Second try of the match. And just proving to be too strong for this Noah forward pack. Here they go from the back again. Advantage being played here for ATL. They're trying to get another one. Dot it down, they do. Springing to the outside. And it's put away. The ball carrier at the back to go forward. But again, this is the cadence that, that they've rehearsed over and over and over again at trainings. They'll give it a shot here to make it 38-19. And Kurt comes on, strikes that one fine, and does just that. Leonard taken down, puts it back for Van Skulkvig. Now Coleman got to pop one here. He took a hit there as he kicked it from Malcolm May. Another big collision there. ATL delivering some blows here with the ball with possession, but the penalty call coming up here. And you just taking that ball and off you go. He's on the ground. Get in trouble for that. There's already an advantage here that was being played. Stewart's number five here. Yeah, right there. Yep. Set. Still on the feet there. Van Skogveig takes a look, calmly gets in there and plays it. He's going to get it right back here to Coleman. Coleman, a fake out wide. Good ball right into the hands there. And this one is going to be put down. And a beautiful finish there from White to Kia. He scored a dazzling try last week. This one, the speed puts it away. And that will put this match away in 43-19. So dominant, you can see that they actually keep the ball in there for as long as they can because they're just driving, driving the Nola defense back. And then just a perfectly worked set move, wrap around from Van Skulkvig, and then just a skip pass from Coleman, seeing the outside defender come flying up and just makes for an easy run from Wyzakia. Here we take another look, pumps once, oh. sees the Noah goal defender fly up, and it's just easy sailing for Wyzakia. I mean... In about two minutes, it'll be official. They'll lock up the number two overall seed as Coleman sticks that one. Like a golf shot, little cut right in there and put it through, and it's 45-19. Do what they needed to do, win the match, and get the bonus point. They got the bonus point in the second half, Marie. They picked up five tries in the second half, and Rugby ATL, they will host Rugby New York in the eliminator round of the playoffs next weekend. A thorough win for this ATL outfit.